Before we kick off, as you can see, I have 5 different video clips. There are links to all assets in the video description too. Now you can simply one by one, drag and drop all video clips onto your timeline. If all that's done, with first video clip selected, go to the effects panel, and search for transform effect. You can double click to apply it. Then just add two more effects, I'm adding crop, and rough and edges effects. While adding these effects, make sure they're in the same order that I've showed you. Now head over to effect controls panel. Then first scale it down, but later on we'll reset its value. Now under the section of rough and edges, set border value of your desire. Also set edge sharpness to 10, and fractal influence to 0. With that you'll be able to provide rounded corners around your video clip. Now you can simply copy first clip, select rest of the clips and then paste attributes. Make sure that the all effects is checked. With that you will be able to paste all these effects. Don't forget to reset first clip scale value. Then move one second forward. From the transform section, in order to create a keyframe, click the stopwatch icon next to position and within the crop section, click on the stopwatch icon of all parameters. Then move 1.4 seconds forward, and adjust the left value to 37%. I'll set the same value for our right as well. Likewise, for our top and bottom let's set it to 4%. After that, let's move our subject to center by adjusting position. To create a smooth animation, set all first keyframes temporal interpolation to ease out. Expand animated parameter to look at speed and velocity curve. With last keyframe selected, drag its handle towards your left. You can follow these same steps on other keyframes as well. A few minutes later. Now take your playhead just before the end of that peak of the curve. Then drag and drop that second video clip on video track 2. Once again with this clip selected go to the effect controls panel. Within crop section set the left and right values to 37% and for the top and bottom to 2%. This time, click the stopwatch icon next to the position and scale. It's time to take your playhead to first frame, where the bottom value should be set to 100%. Increase the scale value and keep the same position keyframe you did before. Once more, move to the last keyframe. Then decrease the scale value and adjust its position accordingly. After that, press the motion section to highlight on the clip on a preview screen. With the selection tool take it to the left corner. I believe, it would be better to use a smaller rounded corner value. Hence, you may set the value of the border to 54. To achieve a smooth animation, I apologize for repeating myself. But you must repeat the same previous actions. Once more for our other clips, make changes on border of rough and edges effect, and scale if needed. 12 seconds later. Now go to the beginning of video track 2 and drag that third clip. From the third clip, adjust the parameters of crop effect. Just a moment ago on the second clip, I've already explained what to do regarding this clip, but this time, I've set the keyframe for top parameter of crop effect instead of bottom one. I've also set keyframes for scale and position for the same effect. I should have moved it to our right side. In case there are any problems with gaps between the clips, simply adjust the crop parameters on the first and second clips. With the third clip selected, return to the first frame. Set the scale, position, and change the value of top parameter to 100% while setting the scale and position. I'm not happy with the position value of the last keyframe, so let's change it. Again for that smooth animation, you can repeat same previous steps. Now let's move 2 seconds forward, at that position let's drag 4th clip and drop on video track 4. Then we do the same with the 4th clip under the crop effect and set left right values equal to those of the earlier clips. Next you can click on that gear icon to activate the safe margins for your guideline. Then for top, let's try aiming for approximately half the height of the 3rd clip. 
After that, you may take it to bottom right end of the screen. If you're still unhappy with that result, then you can further zoom into your preview screen, and then adjust the values as required. At that same position of the playhead, for our third clip, let's create a keyframe for the bottom. Go one second ahead, and now just play with the bottom value until you achieve the required gap. Next return to the earlier keyframe, and set keyframe for the position and scale. But this time, for the last keyframe set them as ease in. Then drag first keyframes handle to the right. I'll keep making the adjustments with the scale and position value until I'm satisfied with the result. After that, select the fourth clip without moving the playhead. We'll create an animation for the position and scale. First, we are going to move these keyframes to the first frame, then after one second decrease the scale value and position it accordingly. But this time, we're going to animate position of our motion section instead of crop parameters. Go back to the first frame, then bring it downwards until it's completely invisible. For that smooth animation, it's important to match the same velocity and speed curve of the last third clip. Now let's move that fifth clip to video track 5. Again you can remember the last crop effects and parameters of this effect. Then let's take it to the top left corner. Once again we're going to mimic the same previous animation, but this time, we will take it up. Try to maintain same smoothness and speed of animation. Lastly, let's select second clip, and set keyframe on the top parameter of the crop effect. Then move one second forward and adjust it so you can see the same gap between the clips. So, like the third clip, we'll animate scale and position as well. Ensure that all the gaps, velocity, and speed curve of keyframes match with each other. And this is what you'll end up with. With some extra text element, and basic adjustments you can make it even better. You can also check other examples as well.